Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to first restart iPhone 14s and iPhone 15s. So you can do this on the Pro versions as well. So if you want to first restart your iPhone, let me show you how it is done. So I'm going to show you two different methods in today's video. So just watch this video carefully to the end. So the first method is by doing it in settings. So if you don't want to use any button at all on your iPhone, you can do it in settings. So just open settings. And you need to scroll down to accessibility once you get to accessibility click on it once you click on accessibility click on touch and right here at the top click on assistive touch so once you click on assistive touch you need to enable it so you can come back right here and disable it at any time after that open your assistive touch and you need to click on device once you click on device click on more and right here you are going to see restart so just click on restart and you can use this to restart your iphone so by doing this it's going to force restart your iphone and nothing will be deleted so you are not going to lose anything you are not going to lose any data or anything on your iphone it's just going to refresh your iphone memory and work perfectly so if you are facing some glitches or some errors on your iphone just do this so let me cancel it and show you the second method so the second method of force restarting your device is to use the buttons that you have on your phone so click on the volume up button once you need to be very fast click on the volume up button once click on the volume down button once and you need to long click on your power button so let me do that right now volume up volume down long click on power button till you see the apple logo so just leave it once you see the apple logo so let's wait for a few more seconds and as you can see the phone has turned off and now it is going to show the apple logo so once you have seen the apple logo just leave it and your iPhone is going to force restart itself. So it's going to take a few more seconds to force restart and you're not going to lose anything. Nothing will be deleted just to refresh your iPhone RAM memory. So if you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more, for more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.